Two Valley Street corn vendors say something awful unfolded at a holiday festival, and they're still fighting red tape and racism to get their property back. Mike Watkiss is live in Glendale tonight. These are some pretty serious allegations, Mike. Uh, yeah, Nicole, accusations of racism today leveled against the Glendale Police Department by a sister and brother who believe they were targeted because they're Hispanic. They were being racist. 22-year-old Nimsi Adke and her 26-year-old brother Cillian, along with about a dozen supporters outside Glendale PD today, protesting the arrest of the two siblings last December as they were working as street vendors selling corn and holiday lights during the annual Glendale Glitters. They arrested me because they said that I didn't show him my license, my food handler, my uh, permit for vendors, and um, I have everything here, and I actually gave to him everything. And they just arrested me for that. Indeed, Nimsy claims she had all the right permits and paperwork. In court, most of the charges dropped when the two pleaded guilty to failing to provide identification. And now the siblings in jeopardy of deportation and Nimsy's status with DACA very much threatened. That assumption that we Hispanic people are in the country illegally just because we are Hispanic has to stop. But we have to be aware that that is happening. This afternoon, the siblings, their attorney and supporters filing a formal complaint with the Glendale police asking for, among other things, the property and money said to be about $300 that the brother and sisters say they earned that day when they were arrested. I think they were, they were just being racist. They just didn't want us to be selling there. We want them to come out and explain to us why these two young people were arrested on that day, why their uh, product that they were selling, it was taken away, and their money, and what happened to it. Yeah, we should tell you that we reached out to both the Glendale Police Department and the city of Glendale today. The PD did not get back to us, and a spokeswoman for the city declined comment. In Glendale, I'm Mike Watkiss, 3TV. All right, Mike.